What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my vlog, and most importantly, welcome back to my echoey and dark garage. Today's a special day. I always say it's a special day. Today's an exceptionally special day because we're transforming the C8 Corvette. I don't keep cars for this long. In fact, if you've been on the channel for very long, you know I've already almost sold this car once. If you're new to the channel, it's just a standard C8 Corvette. It's got a Street Hunter wide body on it by TJ Hunt. Uh, it's got Rohana wheels. It's got a bunch of carbon parts on it, but we're changing it all up. Well, not all. Changing a bunch of stuff up. I just pulled the roof scoop off of it. I'm gonna go grab a quick montage for you guys. We're gonna take this car to the shop, take it all apart and disassemble it, move on with the transformation. Let's grab a montage and we'll get into it here. So let's talk about what needs to happen here in order to get this all done. So from the beginning, we're going to leave the hood, the front lip, the side piece, the rear side skirt, and the spoiler, all the carbon. Like that, we're gonna keep the mirrors black. Now, what needs to happen is we need to take out the headlights, the front bumper needs to come off, both pieces the wide body need to come off, the mirrors need to come off, the wind deflector sure should come off, we'll see. What in the f is happening here? Apparently we need a windshield. We'll get back to that. The side diffuser needs to come off. Side skirt needs to come off. Obviously the decals need to come off. Rear fender flare needs to come off or whatever you want to have to call that piece. Wheels can stay on. Rear bumper needs to come off. Your spoiler needs to come off. Rear bumper needs to come apart. We need to take the tail lights and the rear diffuser off. We need to clean up this two-sided tape from the roof scoop. We're gonna take off the black piece here so we get the material tucked in there really nice. What else needs to happen here? That's pretty much it. Mirror image on this side. Um, you know, it should probably take five, six hours to get done. So let's get into it. All right, got my fancy dancy Serbian mechanic here. How are you doing today, Serge? What's up, YouTube? Oh, you're looking sharp, buddy. I always look sharp. You always look Except sharp. Except when true. I don't. Except when you don't, yeah. right? So we're gonna start on the rear end, I guess. We'll get this all apart. Um, first take, thing is first is you gotta mark some bags. Absolutely, because in a week we want to remember where everything yeah. goes and efficiently put it together. There's lots of screws. So, um, perfect, yeah, we will get this back all apart and... Get the exhaust out. Get the exhaust out and I'll take it to get powder coated. Because as you can see right now, when we originally built it, it was never powder coated and it's starting to, starting to show its age after a few months, right? What's this, like the third time we're doing this? Uh, this is the fourth. I think it's gonna part. So once to paint. Two. So we should be good at this as well. Yeah, I think we have a system going, yeah, yeah. So anyway, cool. And then we'll get this apart, chassis mount off, and get it ready. Holy! Oh, wow. Cruising along. Look at the rocks in here, buddy. Pretty wild, eh? That has nothing to do with venture driving it, though, eh? I don't no. Think. I wouldn't think so. I think it has so many rocks. It is pretty rocky. Yeah. I'm gonna protect the paint in here a little bit more. But well, you got the fender, uh, inner fender. Yeah, so. yeah, inner fender. 
Um, lots of exhaust stays That's crazy. Clean, though. The exhaust looks good. We're going to take that in. Get a powder coated. I'm glad we're taking it apart though, and then we can clean up this gap here. I'm not sure what shift did, but something did. But it's been on here for a year now. Cool. Well, your side's looking good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. Well, sir, just another day, another strip down Corvette so far. So. Exhaust is off. We're going to take the bumper apart. This is all apart. Boiler has to come off. Yeah, I took the rear hatch apart already. Uh, we're going to get the door panels off so we can get the door handle off and the mirror off. Side skirts. Side skirts are two, eight, two minutes. And the front panels are on a home stretch. We'll be done by two o'clock. I hope so. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Well, we are moving along here, getting things done. I actually kind of dig the stand so the wheels stick on it. This looks cool. You can't really tell through the wide angle lens, but things are moving along, looking pretty serious here. What do you think, Sergis? Things looking pretty serious over here? Yeah, my hand's in the door. So if anybody ever is taking apart their C8 Corvette and they can't figure out how to get the exterior door handle off, there's two bolts on the exterior and four on the inside, Serge? Yeah, about four. Four inside. And then the mirror is the opposite. So we took the door panel off thinking the mirror was accessible through where the speaker or sub is, um, but it's not. It's under the cap. There's two bolts here that hold it on. So things are looking pretty good, Serge. What do you think? Yeah, one more door. That's it, I think. Well, I think so too, yeah. One more to go. Cruising along here. So a lot of you have asked about the roof scoop idea and how is it actually functional? Well, the thing is on here, you have your cover, right? The rear camera. You take it, if you don't, want you're not too attached to your camera this is a giant hole right so what happens is obviously you have your roof scoop this is a bad example because this one came off doing about 150 160 miles an hour miles, miles yeah miles. it sits like that the air goes in there goes through the hole fills the engine bay comes out back here and back here so that's the, uh, that's the idea. And that's the car all apart, ready for wrap. It uh, doesn't even look like the same car. So he's got the mirror off on this side. He's got the handle off, everything's looking good. Let's grab a montage and then we're gonna kick it out. Alright guys, the car has been over at Ultra Shine now for a couple of days getting the wrap completed. I'm super excited to see it. The owner sent me a few pictures of it here and there and I'm super pumped to see it. Let's go check it out. I'm not going to show you guys everything all at once. I will show you a little bit of clips in here. You're going to have to wait till the end of the video for the full reveal. mint i am excited the wrapper is doing an awesome job there are no seams anywhere it is flawless and you can tell he's taking his time and he's got masking tape to make sure it doesn't scratch anything even though the car has ppf on it i am beyond thrilled right now we're gonna come back tomorrow he's open to hammer out the hatch and the remainder part of the roof on the top you've seen he's gonna get the inlays done on the rear bumper today there's a lot to go but i'm pumped I'll see you guys tomorrow guys i am so excited right now there's a tow truck picking up the Corvette at Ultra Shine in Saskatoon. We're gonna go down, we're gonna check it out uh, at the shop and see, not without keys or not, and see how it is. Just got here, we beat the tow truck here. Obviously I found my keys and uh, should be here right away. I'm super pumped to see it. I haven't really seen it in person. I haven't seen it in natural light. Uh, Richard, the owner of uh, Ultra Shine, did send me a couple of clips of it outside and the pearl and the paint just pops, unbelievable. I'm pumped to show you guys this. I can't wait. Probably one of the wraps I'm most excited for. It's here. Keegan, it's here. Come see, come here, come on, come on. 
I have to get your live reaction on it. I hear it, but I'm not gonna show the people with the camera yet. Let's show them after. Ooh, you like purple. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Guys, it looks so freaking good. I am pumped. All right, we're gonna get this off the deck and I'm gonna show you guys after we start assembling it. What do you think? Beautiful. Beautiful? Amazing. Everything you thought it'd be? Oh, and more. I think this driver's been here before. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. You, uh, have you been here before? Uh, oh, yeah. A couple times. Yeah, I've been here Yeah. Before. It looks so good, guys. I had to come up here because it's super loud back there, but I have to say the seamless overlays he did and underlays he did and the amount of work and effort he put into just using one pat or how do you say it? One piecing the panels and stuff like there's no seams anywhere. Not that I've seen anyway, like it, he did such a good job. I'm pumped with it. They're just unloading it right now. We're gonna go back there after. We're gonna start installing the wide body on it and it's gonna be a late night. So you guys gonna have to stay tuned. We'll get it all done. And then I'm gonna show you a big reveal and I am pumped. So this is some of the parts that we have to get back on the car before tomorrow when we leave. So we have the rear wing, the rear diffuser, mirrors, headlights, there's tail lights over on the other side of the shop there, front bumper piece, lower chin, there's various bags of hardware here that I'll have to go on. But more importantly is the new powder coated in high temp cast iron. Look how good that looks. Ooh wee, you can see some of the parts here. Looking good, we're gonna get busy. I'll give you guys a little preview, but look how good the carbon looks next to this purple. Now keep in mind, we have the carbon wing, the carbon sides here, it's the carbon lower chin all going on next to that purple. That is gonna pop. We have to get this car ready for driven Edmonton. You know, one thing I do have to say, you can't tell in the wide angle lens very good, but the one thing I do have to say is it is remarkable how wide that 325, 25, 21 tire is without the wide body on it. It gives, you can kind of see how far it actually sticks out. It's amazing how wide that tire is. We got pizza, Tegan breaking shit over here. That window was fine until you got there. Oh yeah, yeah it was. What'd you do there? Oh. We got into the car. We got into the car, yeah, yeah. Very nice, very nice. Okay, look at this. Whoa. Look at that, just look at it. Oh, Long what a score. Car, car wash. Nice, it is separated, but it'll, it'll go back together. There you go, see, so you fixed it. Yep. Graham, Graham's gonna love that. So, those go in the V on the side that I'm doing right now. Oh. Yeah, so, you done eating, right? Yeah, yeah you are. Yeah. Okay, what are you doing next? Uh, we're almost done the rear, and then we can start going forward onto the car. So, we got the side door trim, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna get the front bumper on. Yeah. And actually the headlights go in first, then the bumper. Mm -hmm. Then, then the, the flares. Yeah. Then the then inner flare. Lots to do. Then the French chin. And not much time. No, it's like nine o'clock right now and we're just eating. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Sergis, so what are you doing here, homie? Is the front bumper? Making shit. Don't me. No, no. Look how much wider my car is than yours, bro. Look at that difference. Yeah, that's a good conversion. Just a little bit. Look how much smaller my car is. And what do we call this again? Uh, the double D. The driven drive. Double D. Double D, driven drive. You got that, Tegan? Double D, driven drive. Driven drive. Driven drive. Yeah. This is standard Steve the day before the show and put cars together. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. Oh, shit, that's good on a hot day.
What's this? I never noticed the pearl in it. Yeah, it pops, hey, when you get in the sun? Yeah, in the sun, it really comes, like, comes to life. Yeah, so what do you think, Serge? It was a long night. It was very long. Not much sleep? Early morning. Early morning, long night, yeah. But uh, it came together really well, I think. It's ready to go. Ready to go to Driven. Now you get to drive how much? What is it, 500K, 600K? 600K, yeah. Uh, each way. Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> okay, bud, I will see you in a couple days. Okay guys, we're here, the car is here. We need to get our shit and get out of here. You've seen the car, looks fantastic. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna make lots of content with it. Next up though, we're gonna grab our stuff, grab the Supra, grab the Colorado, because we're taking three vehicles today. We're gonna end up leaving these two in Edmonton so that we don't rack up a bunch of mileage on them. We'll take the Colorado to and from. So Jamie's gonna be here right away, Justin's gonna be here right away, and we're gonna get out of here.